You know, every time the crew and I come to Grand Rapids, we always end up enjoying a frosty cold adult malted beverage at this place. Why, you ask? Simple, because they're the founders. Founders Brewing Company is literally a destination here in Grand Rapids. If you're serious about good food and great beer, this place should definitely be at the top of your shortest short list. It is, after all, one of the best breweries in the world. So, it's no wonder we like it so much. Dave Engbers is one of Founders Founding Fathers. He eats, sleeps, thinks, oh yeah, and drinks beer. My parents actually bought me my first homebrew kit when I was 19 years old. My oldest brother in California introduced me to craft beer at a fairly early age. So I started homebrewing essentially when I was about 19 years old and then it got into a, a bigger hobby and then it turned into a every weekend and it just kind of took over and um, you know I said if you're gonna you only go around once you may as well enjoy it. But early on Dave and his partner Mike Stevens encountered a few hurdles before finding their formula for success. We were trying to use this big paintbrush approach and unfortunately there are a lot of breweries doing the exact same thing and so um, business was not great and looked like we were going to file for bankruptcy and my partner Mike and I said, you know, if we're going to go down, we're going to go down brewing beers that we want to drink. And uh, since we did that, all of a sudden, all the beer aficionados and beer lovers who really wanted more out of their brewery came out of the woodwork. And that's when Dirty Bastard, Breakfast Stout, Curmudgeon Old Ale, great Devil game. Dancer, all these beers started coming out and that's really when the momentum started. And since 1997, Founders has become one of the most highly respected breweries in the world, with over 100 employees cranking out some of the best craft beer you can find. We always have six mainstays, four seasonals, and then the rest are one-off batches that we get to play around with and see if people like. Are you here for the beer or for the beer? No, I'm here for the beer, actually. They're IPAs, you know, very floral, very crisp, and pint glass. You get a 9.2% beer in a pint glass. That's very hard to find. So you like Founders? I certainly do. You like beer? Absolutely. You like Grand Rapids? 100% born and raised. Okay, so which one of you guys says that your wife thinks you're at work? <laughs> Both of us, probably. <laughs> so your name is Chad, but yeah. your shirt says Rooney. Yes. What do you like about Founders? It's home. Well, you live here? Yes. Pretty much? Yeah. You know, they, they, I've got to the point, they don't charge me for beer anymore. Really? No, they charge me rent. We're actually going through a presentation on yeah, a new product. We're uh, talking about things. You guys are actually working? Oh, yeah. And drinking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're my and heroes. Yeah, oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> I noticed you're drinking a, a dark Founders yeah, it's, beer. It's a uh, oatmeal stout on nitrous, which is kind of like a Guinness. So you're having your breakfast and your beer at the same time? Yeah. I don't see the problem with that. Well, I don't see any problem with it either. And I'm guessing you can see why we keep coming back to Founders. We've got a great following here. Uh, we always have. One thing that we always said when we started the uh, tap room is leave your title at the door, everyone's treated the same, and so we've got all these different great walks of life, and hopefully we're the conduit that brings these people together. Well, seems like it's working. So next time you're in Grand Rapids, do what we on the UTR crew do. Head over to Founders for a pint or two, and then you'll see what I'm telling you is absolutely true. <laughs> I'm a poet. Do I have to pay for my beers? By which, I don't know. I don't, I don't own the place. I just work here. So you live here. I also work here. I'm confused. I'm done. <laughs>